In this video for positive maths, we're going to look at problem solving for distance, time and speed. So we have three different examples here. Our first example. We have a train travels a journey of 60 kilometers at an average speed of 70 kilometers per hour. We need to find the time it took to complete the journey. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is highlight the key pieces of information. It travels 60 kilometers, so that's our distance. At an average speed of 70 kilometers per hour. Find the time. So we're looking for the time. Okay, so I'm going to write my triangle here just so we can use it for all three questions. So we have distance at the top and speed by time at the bottom. So we use this like we learned before. We cover the one that we're looking for and then that will give us the formula to find it. So if we cover t, we find that t time is equal to distance divided by speed. So for this question, that is 60 divided by 70. So 60 divided by 70 is going to give us 0 0.857. Okay, so that's 0 0.857 of an hour. So let's multiply that by 60 in order to find how many minutes that's going to be. So it's 51 minutes. So I've just rounded that off. Okay, the next problem. If a car is traveling at an average speed of 50 kilometers per hour for 30 minutes, find the distance traveled. So again, we're going to identify the information we're given. So speed is equal to 50 kilometers per hour. Our time is equal to 30 minutes which is equal to 0 0.5 hours and we're looking for our distance. So again we'll use our triangle. We cover D and we find that distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. Again we have to remember we need to put our time always in hours. Okay so our speed is 50 kilometers per hour multiplied by our time which is 0 0.5 hours so we find that our distance is going to be 25 kilometers and our third example a bus travels a journey of 60 kilometers in one hour find the average speed of the journey so distance is equal to 60 kilometers Time is equal to one hour. We're looking for the speed. So speed is equal to distance over time. So that's equal to 60 over one. So our speed is going to be 60 kilometers per hour. Okay, so just being very careful that we check our units all the way along and that we notice if we're given our time in minutes we have to change it into hours before we can find our distance or our speed. For more information on videos you can visit www.positivemaths.ie you can email us at info.positivemaths.ie and find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.